Hello and welcome back to Storytime Gamer. We're going to continue our tour of Hogwarts Castle in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, I know I've been talking about going to the kitchen to see the house elves. And I'm silly. I missed. I skipped right over it the first time in the first video of this little series. It's down this way. And it's easy to miss and I'll show you why. It's near the Hufflepuff common room. It's very clever. Right here. I just think it's so cool to finally come down here and see them actually doing things. And just like in the book here, they have the tables all ready underneath from above. So they magically transport the food up there. And look at the delicious desserts and treats. Oops, sorry guys, I didn't mean to make more of a mess for you. We'll go over there in just a second. Looks like they're stomping and making wine. He's having a good old time. Or she. Walk over here. Hmm. What's this? Rebellion. Oh, house elf living quarters. Ever practical and creative, the Hogwarts house elves have created a cozy village-like home for themselves among these barrels in the Hogwarts kitchen. Of course, one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside. House elves have extraordinary magic of their own. That's so cool. You have to wonder if they're like large in there, bigger on the inside. Part of me wants to see what happens if I were to uh, knock some of these dishes over, but I would feel so bad. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Mm-hmm. So beautiful. It's so alive. There's a lot of games where um, NPCs are just kind of dead even though these guys are they're in a loop they're doing the same thing over and over but i feel like it's much more alive than some other games and other npcs all right so let's get out of here now that we finally got to see that cannot win hogwarts is safe at last i, I never lost faith fry. not for one moment <laughs> oh, thanks fat fryer now there is a class we're going to attend because through this entire game, I kept telling, asking myself, my young friend. or asking myself this one question, and I'm about to show you the answer to it. We're gonna pull up the map, Hogwarts, and quests. Where is it? Aha! Uh -huh, right there. History of magic with Professor Binns. I'm curious to see if he's alive or he's a ghost. <laughs> Since that was the one thing we never saw in the movies. Was that class? And it's all... Oh, oh it's... um All the way over there. So we're going to take a trek through the uh, Hogwarts. They get there. We're, we're going to take a... I'm not going to dash. I'm just going to walk. You can press up on the D-pad and you'll have a little guide give you a direction where you need to go. 
since I don't have the map up, I'm gonna definitely uh, use that to help us get around. Oh, it's such a beautiful day here at Hogwarts. The spring day. I'm not looking forward at all to learning about Snoggle. Hmm, Snoggle. Alright, we're gonna run a little here. I've always said that travel broadens. Oh, wow. Look, I was, what, that's the first time I've actually seen some people flying around. Huh. Interesting. Especially since I made a comment about that. Like, I haven't seen that many people fly around, and there we go. Afraid of a staircase. <laughs> oh, peeves. We took a tour of this area before, so we don't have to... Necessarily walk too much, but let's see here. Let's look at some of this stuff. So a lot of these paintings you can try to collect and put it in your room of requirement. Which I haven't been that uh, detailed on putting too oh, much no, decoration. My toad. He's left me. <laughs> it's only her toad. There he Billy. is. <clears throat> Perhaps some explanation is in order. It was uh, only a toad that found Professor Weasley. It have been my toad, it didn't One at a time, It was please. only her toad, Professor. You tell tale. it was not. Leviosa. <sighs> oh, Fitzroy, you naughty boy. See, I told you. Now in future, perhaps we can spend our time on more meaningful activities than causing a commotion. I wouldn't want to see you lose house points. Although, I will say, excellent toad. Got a good spring to him. Hmm. So yeah, Professor Weasley. Yes, a uh, ancestor of the Weasleys. All right, come on, load. There you go. All right, the Transfiguration Courtyard. Nice and pretty. I'll definitely have to show all this stuff again whenever it's uh, winter time. It'll be very interesting. Let's see. Have we walked through here? I don't think we did. Ah. I've got my pillow. Oh, he is a ghost. In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632... But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. Ooh, a walking history lesson. Perfect for this. Now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Oh, Professor Bins. I say. Well, where are we going to? Uh, hello. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh... That wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly, some are talented artisans, such as Bragbore the Boastful. 
Did you say Bragbore? I know that name. Lodgok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Well, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft, another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here in the bell tower entrance hall. I recommend that all students introduce themselves to this hero of Hogwarts. Oh? Grimbold Weft was responsible for some of the most important work done in the Goblin Rebellion of 17. Ah, is that so him? So Skagglethorpe the Heedless once challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Oh. <laughs> Can I guess who won? Revelio. These bits of broom are all that's left of a witch called Celine Wartnobby. Rumor has it. Broken broom. Broken broom belonged to Celine Wartnobby. And is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Boy. Demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm. She was never seen again. Perhaps she could be. Oh, this isn't one. Goblin artifact. Horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 go go Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hogshead Inn, with a wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. All right, so I need to find, I guess, this hero he's talking about. Rebellion. Is this it? Grimbald Weft. Skull is famed Taylor Grimbald Weft, whose skilled needlework repaired countless witches and wizards' coats during the Goblin Rebellion of 1752, thus preventing them from taking ill during battle. Oh. Oh, yes. I see you found Grimbald Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Ooh. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights. Interesting. Or rather, statues of Revelio. knights, clarify. Hmm. Keen-eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Aff Buttle of the cheerful countenance nestled among oh, the ranks. The statue must affect some salutary gesture when one draws near. His fame was not won by vanquishing foes in single hey. combat, nor this by slaying bloodthirsty This is a century's old likeness of Pangadon. Fearless mouse hunter and devoted and study scullers. companion. Oh. Warm and approachable demeanor was celebrated by old friends. Sorry, I know you're trying to talk to me, friend, but... So there's like a knight. The waving statue's acquaintance. Uh, let's find it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's be on the other side. This smudge is rumored to be the location of the very first successful use of Bombarda. Oh, I suppose oh. successful is a relative term. Since wow. It, it lived to tell tale. I never noticed that. That's the location of the first Bombarda. It's <laughs> just look. Oh. That's horrifyingly delightful. Oh, all right. Let's see if we can find that's in all the night. centuries that Hogwarts has existed, not once has it collapsed. We're gonna grab that page. Let's see. Well. I figured uh, students often complain about the many stairs. Let's talk to him real quick. Where can I find that friendly knight you mentioned earlier? Oh yes, Sir Afpuddle, or rather the statue of Sir Afpuddle. It can be found amongst the other statues of knights. It's easy to identify, as it's been enchanted to wave at those who take the time to 
Seek it out. Interesting, okay. So we need to find a knight and he's gonna wave at us. Revelio. Be funny if it was that one because he's <laughs> he's got one arm. Maybe over here. Oh, is it this one? Oh, hi! Got a little mustache! Set of armor belonging to Sir Afpuddle, the cheerful countenance, a legendary friendly knight who supposedly won every battle before it was fought by virtue of his amiable negotiating tactics. Some attribute to his success or overly potent cheering charm he cast upon himself. Hi! <laughs> He's got a chicken on his helmet. Oh, that's so funny. Alright, we found him. As one would expect. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. <laughs> mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. There were more, is that it? History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. Looks like we've all gone on another one of Binz's wild goose chases. How can we do so much and accomplish so little? Is that it? Revelio. Wooden cat. This wooden cat statue bears the likeness of Pangor Dun, fearless feline mouse hunter, the devoted study and devoted study companion. Okay. Are we done with class? Currently not tracking anything. Okay. Do I need to talk to my fellow students? Maybe. I think we talked to our friend over here. Leave it to Bins to make the most interesting school in the world seem dull. At least we're out of the classroom. Yep. Revelio. Incendio. We might as well grab that. Mm, he's still waving. <laughs> now what do I do? do? Can I leave class? Oh, hello. PZ has a brand new game. Just beware the open flame. Oop. Oh, peeves. Oh, wow. I never noticed this before. That's a little creepy. What's over here? Oh, another troll. And those are math doors, and you can do some math to solve uh, what's to get inside them. We're checking my quest log here, because are we still in class? I think we're done with class. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. I thought we could get a little bit more history out of Hogwarts. Um, out of it. What did I... I didn't even select anything here. Alright. Let's see what else we can look at. That's fun. Um, we went to the bell tower. We're in the li... Well, we didn't go to the library. Um, we were definitely in the grand staircase. What's in the south wing? Ah... 
Yeah, let's start here. And then we'll go up to we'll go up to the headmaster's office. Cause that's pretty cool. No. So here's the hospital wing. It's George. I'm sure, I'm sure of it. Who is George? That that is George. <sighs> Explain. He was trying to become an animagus. And we were in a field full of sheep. All is now clear. What you have here is an Ovis Aries, commonly known as a sheep. No, it's George. Did your friend George hold in his mouth a mandrake leaf for an entire month? What? And equip uh, himself with the chrysalis of a death's head hawk moth. A what moth? To which he added a silver teaspoon of dew from a place touched by neither sunlight nor human feet. <laughs> All I know is he said, well, hold on. A tomato animagus. The word is amato. Oh, George. I know his voice. Oh, he's after my boober tubers. <laughs> Can you get him away? <laughs> George, stop it. Here's the clock tower. We actually do some uh, dueling here at the beginning, near the beginning of the game, down there in the... There's like a little area down there. You meet some other students for a dueling club. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most yep. pleased to be included. Okay, so we'll do a quick jump because I forget how to. This is an area I didn't really play around in. It was like for just a few missions. Uh, let's go to the faculty tower. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Right, so that's from the grand staircase. Wish I brought. I'm gonna run up here because this takes a while to run up. Ah, Gryffindor common room. See, there's the fat lady. I'm gonna walk to her. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. So that's the Gryffindor common room. I guess I took the wrong... Oh, wait, no, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> that was another part of the stairwell right there. Uh, let's see. I went to the lake one. <laughs> is it this way? It is. I can... Marvellous! Simply marvellous! I've never seen the headmaster so regal! Actually, I have come to think of it. His way, really, isn't it? Scrub's master is indeed regal, sir. You, uh, wouldn't mind having a little sweep over mine, would you? Scrub may only carry out the requests of Scrub's master, sir. As Scrub is sure, sir, knows. Uh, yes, yes, of course, I'm familiar. It's just that there have been attempts over the years to dust my statue. No one has ever cared enough to do the task properly. <laughs> Scrope is most sorry for sir, but no one would care about it. Candy. So these are like offices, or the little... These are the... Not the offices, those are the rooms for faculty. And Helena, and the fat friar. But me, I'm left down. Let's see, ooh. There's like a cool shelled, jeweled tu turtle shell there. We keep going up. Takes a while to get up. Oh, yes. This look familiar to anybody? Look, there's the mermaid. Hi, mermaid. But yeah, that was so cool to, when I first found this. I was like, oh, this is where Harry Potter took the egg for that challenge during the uh, Goblet of Fire. To hear the message. 
or the clue, I should say. Off on another adventure, Wait. are we? Oh. Ha <laughs> so we were here. Um what world are we in where children solve our problems? No, that's a very good question. Okay. Alright, I know one way. You have to bear with me. Because I promised we'd get to the headmaster's office. I'm probably in the wrong tower. Bear with me. Well. There, trophy room. Hello there. So yeah. Hmm. We keep going this way. Up these stairs. Past that door. You have to know uh, Alohomora. You have to unlock it to its third level to get through this area. was the gargoyle, but I... Ooh, can I call it back down? I guess it's already up here. Surprised that the headmaster's not around here to get me in trouble, but... <laughs> See all the sleeping portraits. And here we are at the headmaster's office. And the sorting hat. Let's do this door. Ah, that takes us upstairs to the headmaster's quarters. Which we will go to in a second. Uh, don't mind if I do. Mmm. Right. Some good tea. And an apple. And here's a pensive. There is a trick to actually take your broom and you can actually land right well, right here with your broom uh, so that way you don't have to know the password just yet. You get that later in the game. <laughs> They're all asleep. Ah, uh, here we are. What's this? I don't know what I grabbed. But this is pretty. Yeah, definitely something you don't see in the movies. Or at least, if you do, it's just kind of thrown in there into a scene. And that's what's nice about this game, is that they, the developers, took time... Okay, come on, we can do it here. Here we go, haha! -ha! Took time to connect the games... Oh, really? 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 There we go. To uh, connect this game with the world that was built through the movies. And it's just amazing. Uh, one thing we're going to also look at. There's the docks. But where is it? You can see the Hufflepuff. Um... common room. Must be this way. There's just so much beautiful detail they put on the castle. A really well fleshed out open world, in my opinion. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Oh, here it is. So that's, you see those little windows? That's the Hufflepuff common room in there. Kind of built into the ground. Um, and you know, you have to be Hufflepuff to get in. But it's really cool... ...to see it. We're gonna fly up a little higher... 
take a look at it. So cool. And this is the uh, great hall, and you can see the different houses and the uh, stained glass. I think it's so beautiful. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching Storytime Gamer. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you.